We created sport performance eyewear at this brand, but we really wanted to launch Oakley's next 50 years with something to rewrite the script on comfort and retention. That's really the starting point. We have this opportunity to really push something new. Our eyewear that stays on your head no matter what in the most bumpy, rocky, tumultuous types of sports is not necessarily the eyewear you wanna wear for five hours, for 10 hours, for 20 hours. That was the light bulb moment. This is an opportunity to reinvent that relationship between retention and comfort. How do we make retention comfortable for a really long time? The first thing is we have a goal in mind with every single frame that we do, and that goal is to keep the lenses in front of your eyes. The pinnacle performance that we were looking at is like the ultra marathoners. They're performing at extreme conditions for extreme times. A lot of times if we can solve the extreme cases, that solution ends up working for a pretty wide variety of people. So we want to understand it from different types of athletes, female, male, older, younger, and then use the best culmination of that answer to drive our direction. That was our new goal. That really defined the beginning of the active prototyping part of the project. The nature of this project was we needed to move quickly and we needed to be moving every week. And in order to do that, you have to be able to make stuff fast. Brainstorming, prototyping, testing. Honestly, iteration, iteration, iteration. We all sat at a table every week and say, okay, hey, what did we learn from this prototype? What do we need to change? You just try lots of different things to kind of see what you can learn as fast as you can learn it. So we went from stuff that felt really organic to stuff that started to be a little bit cleaner, things that started to feel a little bit more machine. What we like to say is, you know, fail fast, fail often. No matter how weird or wild or funny the concept was, let's run on that prototype tomorrow. Then we created a new prototype by, I think, Tuesday the next week. Wednesday, we were running in it. I have run over 8,000 miles in all the prototypes that I've tested. <laughs> oh, man, that was bad. That was really that part where we go from super ambiguous and ambitious to break our status quo, invent the future today. Now testing Oakley Hypergrip technology. Hypergrip is the technology, and it's featured in three new pairs of glasses, Stunt Wing, Stunt Devil, and Stunt Glider. It's super cool to see it come together in the end because I actually didn't think that this particular concept, that it was gonna make it. <laughs> the package and the form factor did surprise us. It's eye-catching, but it's all for a purpose. It looks wild, but when you put it on, you feel this almost hugging feeling. You don't have this stem pressing against your head anymore. You have now this really long, comfortable band wrapping around your head like a hammock. What this product is about is those engineering first principles. It's pressure equals force over area, and that's what makes it comfortable. That's the magic here on the function side of it. And then you bring stunning design to the table. The great thing about this frame is that there's almost two temples happening at the same time. So there's all this interweaving and kind of these 3D moves that are happening that make that piece so dynamic. So it's a combination of really solving a problem and creating something new that the world really hasn't seen before. We made something that completely reinvents that correlation between comfort and retention. We talk here at Oakley about physics elevated to an art form, and these products do that. 